Hi, my name is Hayden Galloway, and I'm from Wahoo Public High School. This poem is called Candle Holder Hearts. I love you, and I know you seem to love me too, or at least it feels like you sort of, kind of seem to, I love you. And I know I do, because before anything's about me, it's always about you. My anxiety isn't this bad with anyone else, so obviously I must love you more than I love anyone else. I've never really loved myself, and of course, you sort of tried to help. Back then, we burned like fire in each other's throats, like the fireball we used to choke down. I used to smile a lot. It's becoming rarer, and I think you notice. I think you notice how much less often you see the corners of my lips curl up like the paper you focus on rolling blunts. After your blunt, I can never say things to you as bluntly as I'd like to, for fear you'll let go. But I've been holding on in your security blanket arms for so long now, I'm sure I'd catch hypothermia without you. A few months ago, we burned like the bonfire on late summer nights. We huddled under comforters and hid behind blankets, making our relationship seem warmer than it was, and every picture donned sienna filters. I think back on times like that, I remember how we felt, how amazing everything seemed, but I've been falling into a pattern of the same messed up thinking. I told myself if it didn't get better by the time school got back in, I'd leave. I keep telling myself I'll leave. And it's like you can read my mind from a thousand miles away, because every time that messy plan begins to come into play, you attempt to stretch your arms over three or four states to hold my hand. You stop focusing on your blunt raps and force me to be blunt with what's wrong. And my love for you scares me, because your smile is my lighter fluid, and my heart's a bonfire cage. And though you might be snuffed out and smoking, I'm fragile. And if you are gentle, I can roar like the mighty fire our relationship was meant to be. Your candle holder heart, I'm aware, has been scarred by people and relationships who are little more than a burning cold memory and ash today. I find it hard to believe my bonfire is a blessing when your candle is so easily mutable, when your emotions are so easily indetectable, every phone call's a different kind of sad, every I miss you with differentiated, deconstructed hidden meetings, every I love you means something different, and you're becoming illiterate. You're forgetting how warm we used to be. You don't hold our relationship on the pedestal you used to place me. I feel uneven because I'm putting you first, and you're too high to know where first is, and I'm almost always alone. I don't feel whole anymore. I need to leave, but I'm weak. You'll barely notice a thing as my fire fades, and I try my hardest to relight your candle before the wax dries out. I love you with every bit of flame I can muster, and I miss you, no. I miss the fire we could have been together, but this relationship feels stripped of the heat needed to turn friction into combustion. It's hard to love you so much and convince myself to stay in this lukewarm relationship. 